Oh, I don't know. No idea. Yeah. Okay. So the game has begun. Yes. And we have spawning in the bottom left corner of GSL's Cloud Kingdom. It's the world's deadliest youngster. Five year old. And in the top right, it's the purple Zerg. Victor of the last final in a gruelingly long ZVZ match. Where I'm sure he made a lot of roaches and a lot of investors. It's Bob Moo. Yep, 40 minutes. Over over 40 minutes, according to the graph. Oh, God, I would have slipped my own wrist. In, in a ZVZ. A ZVZ that lasted 40 I know, minutes. I know. Generally, ZVZs don't last that long because one player makes a huge mistake. So I guess they both did not make very huge mistakes for a long time. Five year old going for Gateway, not Forge Expand. Yes, very interesting. Uh, he probably doesn't want this to last very long. Well, it's uh, it's kind of five year old's mo at this point, isn't it? That he goes for two zealot pressure yes. on the uh, on the Zerg's base. Yep. Yep. I don't know if Bob Moo knows that. I don't know if he's an avid viewer of Daywalker or not. It's people who do people who want to play Daywalker really should watch sometime and learn what the other players are up to and play some mind games with them. I mean, who else better to learn from than five year old? He is number one masters. He is. Bob Moo's not number one, but he's up in that masters league. He, he generally is. seems to know what he's on about this gotcha. games and we see his drone is skipping the natural and going for the third. It's kind of a, or is it? Nope. Nope. He got his natural down. Okay, never mind. And look, he he faked this with the the nexus. He went and gate and he didn't put down his nexus anyways. Well, again, that's kind of what five year old does. I'm not I'm not too surprised by his play at this point, just because I know him. But I suppose Bob Moo would be surprised. Like, wait a minute. Have you, you don't even have a forge? Have you offered him a game, five year old? On. Um, like, what do you mean? Like, to play him? Yeah. No, he would destroy me. I'm fucking... <laughs> there's no chance I would win against five-year-old. Like, maybe... Maybe if I did some crazy-ass, like, old-school meta all-in, I would beat him, but... So anyway, Bob moves Overlord, sees the Nexus. He's got to know this Nexus is late, so he's kind of probably wondering... You know, where would the, where'd that money go? He is a Masters player. It's the kind of thing you should know. Two yeah. Lings getting in. Third is not yet down for Bob Moo. He's kind of just making drones. He's grabbing a gas, actually. Wow. So perhaps Bob Moo will be getting aggressive. Now, these lings can run around the zealot all day. Really, they shouldn't fight it like that. There's no reason to. Bob, no reason to do that, Bob. Bob. Bob Moo. <laughs> Bob runs away with the zergling. <laughs> but he knows there's a gateway anyway. Yep. So he's, he's at least figured out, if he didn't know before, he knows now, five-year-old would gate first. Yeah. He also knows there's a five-year-old doesn't have any sentries yet. So, I don't know. He's grabbing a second gas. His Aww. drone count is actually kind of low. Kind of ridiculously low, considering how much money he has right now. So I'm really, really curious as to what Bob is up to here. Oh, he's saving his minerals for something. What did he just get? He just bought something. He oh, just okay. bought two overlords. Oh, okay. <laughs> two overlords drones. and a lot of drones. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hmm. Interesting play but here. I'm Jeez. assuming he's going to go for gas. Yep. Or, sorry, for speed boost. And he does. Metabolic speed beast on the way. There we go. Meta speedlings. <laughs> Link Zergling speed. <laughs> yep. Um, the Red Bull. It's a Red Bull evolution. I like the positioning of this uh, probe over here on the oh. left-hand side. This is either, you know, you can do two things. You can scout for the uh, third base, or you can just keep it there and put a, a proxy pylon there. Indeed, and we have a total of four gateways from five rolls, so it's kind of a delayed oh. two-base four-gate. Oh, MC. Mr. MC. Something like that. His pylon is on the way. Right below the uh, Zerg's third base location. We have 12 oh. Zerglings on the way. That's right. The pylon is up. And what are we going to see out of the Zerg player now? He's going to make a lot of... Did he just make... Okay, a Roach Warren goes down. Links. Yeah, and Roach Warren goes down. It's not done yet. Roach Warren's on the way, but mm -hmm. there's already Zealots. And now it's fine. Uh, he's taking out the Zealot on the tower. <laughs> but, uh... Great. The escape pressure is just going to run right in. He's probably going to get the Queen, actually, if Bob Moo's not careful. 
All five year old has to deal with this is Zerglings, and these are plus one zealots, so they cut through Zerglings like a hot knife through butter. Or like a hot knife through a Zergling? I guess like a hot <laughs> knife through a Zergling, yeah, like a, like a laser sword through a Zergling flesh. <laughs> like, um... Oh, the queen! The queen! Queen goes down. Explodes in a shower of blood. That was really gory. Holy crap. Yeah, man. You, if, if you don't turn off the uh, violence, <laughs> the violence, I mean, man, it can be really uh, gory. I don't turn it off, but... No, I don't turn it off either. Oh, no, the I drones are coming out single file right in between the two uh, uh, zealots. Drones, you can fight! Use your pincers! Finally, two roaches come out, but they're going to get killed, too. Now they're going to try to get behind uh, the drones. Plus one zealots. Oh, hold position on the drones. Really nice move there by Bob Moo, but it's going to end up a lot of dead drones if he keeps that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two We're looking gateways at gateways behind this. Oh. So five year old is just saying, "Screw it, you're hurt so bad. I'm just going to kill you." Yeah, three roaches are, are out now. Three roaches are out now. They're going to try to kill this zealot. They do. They're going to try to kill this zealot, and it looks like they will. Yeah, but without getting rid of that pylon, five year old can just do whatever the hell he wants. There's a spire on yep. the way. Yep. Did he get a ro robotics facility down yet? No, no Robo. Okay, so no... But he is uh, getting Blink. Yes, he is getting Blink, but see, there's no Observer, so he can't blink. He can't directly Blink into the base from this pylon, which is going to be taken out right now by these roaches. So no more for pylon, although he does have another one here at the top, kind of the yep. top center left, whatever. He does. So... He can just place another one. Right, so, so right now the Stalkers can't get into the main the easy way. <laughs> no, no, they can't take the easy way in, nope. but they, they, we do have... Plus two weapons on the way. Plus one blink stalkers are already scary yeah. enough. Plus so, two blink stalkers against six roaches. Yeah, so and not, Bob moves in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely, yeah. We we can see the uh, the dilemma here for oh Bob. Oh my god, supply blocking so hard. And Bob move by the way didn't have any larvae to make anything when this attack came. Oh. And there it goes. 